Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. On this International Women's Day, it's so exciting to celebrate the hard work of Dr. Mom herself, Carrie Schroeder. Thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, it is an absolute joy. Thank you. Right. So I want to talk about Dr. Mom, but first I think it's really important to mention a quote I saw on your IMDb about life okay. and your reaction to it. Absolutely. It is what shapes it. We can't control anything in our life. The only thing we can control is how we react. So how did you use that deep knowing in creating such a successful career in Hollywood? Well, there are so many things that can get thrown at you, and especially with auditions. You audition every day, and sometimes you get them, and sometimes you don't. So when you walk out of there, you have to go, well, that was it. I did the best that I could. Mm -hmm. On to the next. Yeah. yeah. The law of non-attachment. Yes. It works well. It's yeah. everything. Uh -huh. yeah. yep. It's very important. Otherwise, you go home, and you sit in your car, and you're like, oh, why didn't I say that? Oh, I totally should have said that. Yeah can't do it, man. Yeah. Just got to walk yeah. out and go, I knocked it out of the park. I love it. How'd you get there? How'd you get to a place where you could let go? Because I think lots of folks want to let go, but they can't or they have trouble. Right. I think it was my upbringing. My mom was a very strong woman, gay woman. And whenever things would happen in your life, especially when you're a teenager, things are very dramatic. And we would get a day to be miserable. She's like, you can take the day <laughs> and that's all you get. And then after that, all right. I like that. Yeah, it's a great rule. The sun, yeah, yeah, the sun comes up, the day goes on, you got to go back to school, and you're like, okay. That's so, right. Yeah. So, you know, television has been a huge impact in all of our lives for women in good ways and bad ways. Some of these we program some things and that we're like going through therapy around, but some things bring a lot of joy and a lot of empowerment. What do you feel about your role and how do you feel like it's playing into the psyche of the women in the world? Well, I'm really proud of my role, Dr. Mum. She is a scientist and she's a computer hacker and she's also a mom and she's built this cutting edge Android. And I think it's really important to show girls and women and young boys that women are... Oh, clip. oh there she is. <laughs> <laughs> women can be astronauts and they can be visible in tech. And I think it's important that we show women, not just in the home, but doing incredibly cutting edge things in technology, math, science, education. Mm. I love that. What would you say is the most challenging and most rewarding thing about being a woman? The most challenging thing, I think it's society puts a lot of things upon us of what we should do mm. and what we need to bring to society. But I also think the most rewarding thing about being a woman is our unique take on everything. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So true. Mm. So true. So what are you doing for International Women's Day? International Women's Day, I will be calling all of my family back in Australia. Mm -hmm. I'll be talking to my mom and I'll be talking to my grandma and just celebrating who they are. Uh, They've obviously had a great impact on you, but what do you want your impact to be? You're making incredible strides as Dr. Mom, but what is it that you want your legacy to be? My legacy to be? I would like to see that I made a positive impact in this world. I am very much into uh, animal welfare. Uh, I would like to be able to show people that homeless pets don't have to be homeless and that everybody has something to give. Everybody. Because a lot of people don't volunteer because they're, oh, I don't have the time and I can't possibly, you know, give up four hours because maybe I, it won't be consistent four hours. But that doesn't matter. Find that time wherever it comes. My schedule is impossible to <laughs> and um so you know i'm not the best volunteer because i'm like you know those four hours yeah i can't make <laughs> but just know that there is always something that you can give and if you give that to somebody you have no idea what that difference is going to make in their life mm. and i think that's really important no it's absolutely important is there any specific charities that you're working with i work with the german shepherd rescue and they actually just closed their doors. So I'm a homeless oh, volunteer. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, advocating for the homeless of pets. So, yeah. yeah, so I'm really excited, actually. I'm looking into different organizations of, of where to, to put my energy now. And what are you most excited about putting your energy into? Are there any upcoming projects you're looking forward to? Anything on the rise? There is a lot of things that are actually looking for homes. So I'm really putting my energy into meeting people and finding new platforms to find a home for these projects that I have. Oh, oh I love it. So yeah. exciting. Yeah. When are you the happiest? When am I the are, happiest? Are you the happiest when you're creating, when you're yes. performing? When are you the happiest? Absolutely. My favorite place is on stage or on set. That minute before you go on stage, you're like, what am I doing? 
It's pretty fucking good. And then when I get out onto stage or onto set, it truly feels like home to me. Uh, and be able to uh, co-collaborate with all of the people who I'm on set with or on stage with, because you never know what's going to come at you. Yeah. And I love that discovery process, mm -hmm. that being on the edge going, okay, what is it? Present. Present. Going, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so exciting to me. It makes me feel alive. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's, it's got to be a huge consolation for folks too, because I think a lot of people, particularly when they're starting out, they think that once you get to this expert place in your life, you don't feel that anymore. You don't feel the anxiety, the worry, the stress that maybe I'll forget my lines. Right. So it's really helpful to hear someone as successful as you so yeah. that I, I still do feel that way occasionally. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think that is a good place to be also because if once you get past that, am I going to forget my lines, then you truly are present Yeah. because you're in that moment of like, don't know what's going on. Let's see. It helps when the adrenaline's pumped through your yes. whole Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I really feel like I said, it just feels like home to me. So that's nice. where I know I'm exactly okay. where I'm meant to be. Well, tell people Fantastic. where they can find and follow you and get involved with your projects. Okay, you can find me on Instagram at C Schroeder Act. I'm also the same handle on Twitter. I have a Facebook page, Terry Schroeder Actor, and follow along, and then you can find where I'm. Uh, find a new place to volunteer as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Mom. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, La La Land.